Hi, it's Bob from HeCooksForMe.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're going to cook up some quinoa and show you how we do that. We really like this grain. It's high in protein and very healthy for you. And we use it as a substitute for several things like pasta or rice or even lettuce in a salad. So a couple things that you do need to uh, make a good quinoa. You need a fine mesh colander and we're going to use that to actually rinse our quinoa. The quinoa has a naturally occurring saponin that is on the outside and this, uh, just a cold water wash, will get rid of that and uh, allow it to cook a lot better. We have a medium sized saucepan and we're going to cook uh, the quinoa in chicken stock uh, uncovered for the first, and, until it actually absorbs all the chicken stock and then we'll take it off the heat, cover it for about five minutes and that's when it allows it to, uh, it actually pops out of the shells so that it's a lot more edible. We like to do quite a bit of quinoa at a time, so we actually buy our quinoa grain in the bulk food section in our local grocery store. And it, it works out really well to do either a cup or two cups at a time because you want twice as much liquid as you have quinoa. So if you're using one cup of quinoa, one can of chicken stock works really well with it because that's about two cups of chicken stock or two cups or to four cups which is what we'll do today because we like to have it on hand because we use it for uh, quite a few different things. The chicken stock does uh, add quite a bit of flavor into the quinoa. It doesn't impact much as far as calories while still adding that flavor. If you prefer not to have the chicken stock you can definitely just cook this in water as well. So to get started I'm going to just get our two cups of quinoa and do a rinse under cold water. I got that quinoa rinsed out. I almost wish I would have taken you with me there to show you what that looks like. When you put it under cold water, it foams up almost like a laundry detergent or something. Uh, it, it really is obvious that there's something on there and as you rinse it, that all goes away. Anyway, I put the quinoa now into our pan. I'm going to just add all four cups of our chicken stock. And we'll turn the stove on here to, uh, I'll probably start at about a 7 out of 9 and just get it up to a nice boil. And then we'll turn it down to a simmer so it can absorb all this liquid in. We found that by cooking uncovered while it absorbs all the liquid that you choose to cook it in, it becomes moist without being sticky and it can still fluff up at the end. Uh, a lot of times uh, it's recommended that you cook it with a cover on and it seems like that just makes it sticky. Sometimes it never puffs so it's, it's still hard and crunchy. Um, other times it can be so soft and mushy that you can't even tell that you're taking a bite of anything. So we really like this method. So now we'll uh, just let it come to a boil, turn it down to the simmer and we'll keep stirring it uh, until the liquid's pretty much gone out of it and I'll be back with you in a minute. We got that nice boil going now, so I'm going to start turning it down a little bit so it's just a simmer. You don't want to cook it too high. You need to give the quinoa time to soak up the chicken stock. Now that chicken stock's getting below the level of the quinoa in there, you can see that it's starting to bubble through that quinoa. It's important now to make sure you're stirring so you don't let anything burn on the bottom and so you can keep track of how much liquid's left in there. I'm going to turn it down again. Uh, we've started at a 7. I turned it down to a 6 once it started really boiling so that it would simmer nicer and uh, still allow that liquid to evaporate. And now I'm going down to a 5. I'll probably end about a 4 on my uh, stove as far as temperature. Just another update. It's been a couple more minutes and I'm hoping that you'll be able to see this but there's still just a little bit of liquid inside that quinoa that pulls out. So I'm going to let it go maybe another minute or two minutes. Uh, we have it turned down to a 5. I'm going to go to a 4 now and uh, just really try to cook off the rest of that liquid and then we'll pull it from the heat, cover it, and let it sit for at least 5 minutes. And now our quinoa, it, there's no juice left as you look through the quinoa and even press on it a little bit. So we're going to call that done. We'll pull it off the heat here, cover it, and let it sit for 5 minutes. Our quinoa is now set for several minutes, so I'll pull the cover off and we'll just give it a quick stir to fluff it. I'll try to get some close-up pictures here so you can see how it looks once those shells pop and uh, exactly what it is that we're going to be eating. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, 
leave a comment, and consider hitting that red subscribe button. It really helps if you can share my videos with friends and family that might be interested, or watch some of the other videos on my channel. I hope this dish, or one of my other featured dishes, finds its way into your kitchen soon.